So in this video we'll look at how a trainer assessor can add a course uh, to the system and then add candidates to that course or have ad candidates book themselves onto the course uh, independently. Um, the first things that we need to be mindful of is that um, uh, trainer assessors need to have the trainer assessor qualifications and they also must be um, uh, of purchase membership so this is how the trainer assessor fees work and um, providing all those things are in place uh, then a trainer assessor can go up to the menu bar here, click on the course authorization tile. So you can see here there's a new course authorization button. So if you just click that, and then you need to fill in the details that are um, that are on this form. So in this instance, we're going to put a Cave Leader Training uh, course together. So we click Cave Leader Training, and then there's subgroups. Uh, so we're going to click on the green button to add the Cave Leader Training course in and then we need to pick the region. The next step then is to put the course date information in. So this is when the course starts and uh, when the course finishes. Uh, this is the booking date, so this is the booking deadline. So if you want a booking deadline a couple of weeks or a month or so before your course, you can add that in. If you want to add the times for your course, when it's going to start, uh, you can do so on the sides here as well. And when the course is going to um, when the course is going to end. Uh, equally, you can put a booking deadline uh, in for whenever you want. So we're going to add some information here about where the course is going to take place. And as you do that, you can see that the that long um, location gets updated. And so if you want, you can put your own um, Latin long uh, locations in here and I'll put a little pin uh, point on the map um, uh, when the course is advertised. Uh, this box here is the course details. So um, we've completed this. We've added a load of um, information uh about um about about the courses so this essentially replaces the handbook um you can add to this or you can amend it but um please don't delete any of the um core um core information but for example if you add some um, um particular information about uh, the location of the course or where people need to park that sort of thing um you could include that into the details bear in mind though that this information won't get emailed to a candidate it'll only appear in the um uh, in the course description. Um, at the bottom here there is a tick box that's, um, that's automatically ticked but, um, but this ticks box essentially um, puts the course or advertises the course on uh, the um, uh, on the systems web page. So if you're running a private course or you've got a course that's full of candidates then it's worth coming down and just unchecking that box so that the course isn't advertised. Once you've got all this information in and you're happy with it, then you can click the next button. And then you just need to click the accept button to all the conditions. Now, just before you hit submit, it's worth bearing in mind that once this button is pressed, you cannot go back and change any of the content uh, from your course information. So it is worth just double checking that you've got all of that correct. Um, so provided you've got the appropriate qualifications and everything is still um, uh, still in date, then, then this should be automatically authorised for you. And you can see that the status has gone through to authorised here. If you don't meet any of the prerequisites or your, um, your qualifications are out of date, for example, then you can still actually um, uh, submit a course, but it will need to go through a manual approval stage. So, um, so Mary will look at that at the back end and, uh, and let you know whether the course has been authorised or not. So we can have a look at this course. If we go into events and courses here, and this was a cave leader training that we put on in North Wales. So you can see the information has come through um, into here. So the pictures and things are generic. We've picked those for you, I'm afraid. Uh, you don't get to change those. Um, it's just the content and things that you can change. Um, it's worth highlighting that this looks slightly different for candidates than it does for you as a trainer assessor. And we'll, we'll go through and have a look at what a candidate will see in a bit. So you can see here that it's, um, it's actually picked out the location on the map. Um, it's got your um, your address information here and your contact details along the side, and then it's got the course content that we um, uh, we 
we discussed earlier is all um, all displayed. Um, this course content, the generic stuff, is actually emailed to a candidate as well um, once they've booked onto a course. Okay, so what we'll do now is we'll have a look at um, how this looks from a candidate's perspective. So we'll log in as our test user. Um, we can see our test user here has got nothing under their credentials or under their qualifications at all. Um, so they're going to go in, have a look at the events and courses. So if they want to do a cave leader, they can click here and they can pick the region that they want to look at and they can find the course here. Um, alternatively, candidates can actually do some searching on the top button or they can just click this button and you get to see all the courses that are running um, uh, at the moment. So this is how it looks from the candidate side. So you can see it's slightly different here. They've, they can actually purchase tickets um, or places onto, uh, onto a course. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and do that. You can see that there's no cost to this, but they do need to actually go right the way through the um, the payment system uh, and complete the order. And once that's done, uh, then once that's done, they'll be added to your course. So we're going to log back in as a test user, uh, the trainer assessor test user, and we'll have a look at how that looks from them from the trainer assessor side. So it's back into course authorization. Uh, here's the course here, we click on the blue button on the side and we can see that a candidate has added themselves to this um, to this particular course. If we double click on that candidate's um, uh, name we get their information that comes up here. Um, now there's a few things that I'm just going to show you along the side here. There's all these, um, all these little buttons and basically this is um, uh, our replacement for the S4B form. So if we click on uh, the second or the third one down, um, this is um, this is for trainer assessors to record any um, any feedback or any particular details from um, from a training course. So for example, in this instance, we're just going to fill in a bit on the um, cave leader training. Please be careful not to um, to fill in any other boxes. Or to delete anything that's in there, as um, as that will have implications on the on the candidate's profile. So you can type anything you want here. This box will just um, expand as you do so, and then this will appear on the candidate's profile. Um, if we just have a look at some of the other sections as well here. So here you can see um, uh, is the site lists for all the all the caves and mines in um, uh, in each region. So once a candidate qualifies, it's just simply a case of ticking the boxes um, for the for the appropriate cave or mine systems that a candidate is qualified to um, to lead groups in. Um, there's the second box here, which is related to update workshops. We'll chat about that in a in a different video. So once all that information is um, uh, has been entered and the course has been completed. Uh, then as a trainer assessor if you come in here and just either click on the past or the failed um, button. Now if you want to add a candidate to a course manually you can do that so you click on the add member here um, however you do need to have the candidates membership number first name and last name and date of birth as it is entered into the system um, and then this um, uh, uh, this will find that particular candidate once the course is complete, uh, then you can just click Save and Next. And once we're all done, Submit and Finish. And that will close the course off. You can see that it's completed and no other um, interactions can um, can take place with that course. So we'll log off here and have a look at how that will have looked on the candidate's profile. So we'll log in as our test user. This is the candidate that booked onto the course. And if we go in here and have a look at their credentials, then we can see that the cave leader training credential has been added to their um, to their profile. Equally, if the candidate goes into the um, members details here and clicks on their course feedback, they can see the information that's been entered about their cave leader training. Now that the candidate can't actually change any of that information, 